to Between the Lines. This is a show where we talk about books, where we readers um, just discuss about everything that's included in the magic of reading, the whole experience. So here with me, I have my friend, Zian. Hi. Hi. It's so nice to be here with you and um, to be able to talk about books. I know. So I exciting. I didn't even know that you were a huge fan of books. I am. I'm such a huge fan of books I mean, that I... Didn't why isn't anybody? Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're not a fan of books, you, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, what kind of books do you read? Um, that's actually a very interesting question because I don't normally um, have a specific genre of books that I read. You know, um, I if I find a book and I like it, I just go for it. You know, it, as long as it's intriguing and it doesn't necessarily have to be either mystery or you know comedy Whatever or yeah, right. anything is fine for me. So, um, and I have a very broad, I guess, sense of reading, if you think about it. experience. Even exactly. Now. So, I even growing up, I was a bit different um, when it came to reading. You know, I would always go for the big ones. And uh, so I would, I would open <coughs> a book on one side and then I would open like a dictionary on the other side and just oh, like, refer back and forth yes. to the big words that I wouldn't know. Reading really just makes your vocabulary grow exactly. so strong. Yeah. I feel like I just overuse so many big words oh, because yeah, you hear them. <laughs> and, and then, then half the time them. people will be like, what does that mean? <laughs> it's like a walk in thesaurus of a sort. So, oh, I remember yeah. the Lemony Snicket series where he would explain the I big know, words. That even would though be you know them. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> What books do you want to talk about today? Um, I have, I actually have five in mind and I have two here, right with oh. me. And one is um, <clears throat> the beautiful um, book by Dan Brown, It's Angels and Demons. Uh, it was adapted into a movie. Yes. And that, that was, uh, and Tom Hanks played the main character. Yeah, yeah. He's such a good actor. Oh, there's a trilogy. Is it a trilogy or? I, th I yeah, think there's so many of them. Yeah, you would know. Series, <laughs> I think I'll just stick with the book for now, <laughs> <Yeah>. so. <laughs> And um, and then I have a secret we share. This is um, actually a, a, a book um, which was written by a local author, oh. and it's not necessarily a novel, but it's um, a series of poems um, combined to four chapters. And uh, this is a, a, a friend of mine wrote this, and um, he's actually very dear to me. I'm not being biased <laughs> because he wrote this, but the thing is, if you read if you read through, you'd know that a lot of poems relate to you in so many ways. It's about heartbreak and. Um, grieving and um, loving yourself mm -hmm. so it's uh, basically a series of uh, coming to get to know yourself in a way what do you think would be <coughs> your favorite poem i mean if there's even such um, i mean I <laughs> so you probably love all of them i, I do i really do um but um okay so this is one i really enjoy uh, if, mm -hmm. if you will i'll read through yes um <coughs> it's daisy they say no one likes to pick a daisy in the midst of a g rose garden, but you adored the simple things in life, and so picked me, dodging the thorns that cut everyone else. For the pretty are among the soonest to bark, and roses are among the common that cut. Oh. So it's really beautiful. I'm a horrible reader. <laughs> I just, so no, but it, that, was, that was so good. It's so deep, you know. It is. Like you can. There's so many metaphors. For exactly, you that. can put that into any situation, and it's you know. like, oh my god, this is so me. You know, you can yes. do that every single time you read any poem in there. So, which is the be best thing about that? And plus, um, I always want to promote local talent. And um, since uh, this is really brilliant, and he has a lot more coming in, but um, you know, this basically. <laughs> Recently, there's been a lot of poetry books coming exactly. out. I mean, yeah. I love the whole idea exactly. that people are yeah. starting to fall in love with yeah. poetry. Yeah. So what do you think about the, you know how poetry, some types of old poetry where you have all the prose and everything like yeah. lined together yeah. and then, but now it's more of a spoken word poetry? Mm -hmm. um, I think I, I like now because um, I, I, for one, am not a very good uh, adapter of change, if you might say so. because. Um, <clears throat> for me, I always enjoy the things that came before me, you mm -hmm. know, or, or as I was growing up, I got to know those things. Yeah. But um, the thing is, they, that wouldn't be so always, you know. So at one point, you would have to embrace things as they come. And I enjoy spoken word poetry because um, I think back in those days, they fit because it was those days. Mm. And Order was there. Exactly. So but it's a completely it's different time now and I think I enjoy what is now. 
Yeah, same. Yeah. I, I like to think that you don't sort of have to stick to the old yeah, rules exactly. and like be in the box, but you just get in out and yeah. that's really cool as well. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> you can continue. <laughs> okay, so, um, <coughs> so these are the two books that I have here. And Maybe you can talk about the Dan Brown book a little oh, yeah. bit more. Yeah. I've actually not read that. No. I did read. Uh, okay, you might want to cover your ears up because I'm going to give you a huge spoiler on this oh, one. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to give you a challenge. Right. You have to convince me to read this book. I've only after read one Dan Brown book in my life. Which one was it? That was uh, Digital Fortress. I think that was his first book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't really enjoy it yeah. that much, so. Well, with <laughs> <laughs> um, you did watch the movie, right? I did. Yeah, but the thing is, the movie doesn't have a lot of things, as a lot of movies doesn't when mm -hmm. the book is out there. It doesn't really do justice. But this, um, what's special about this is that it has so many details about um, the whole. If when you're reading, if you're a real, real reader, you'd know one thing that um, when you read a book, you completely transform to, to this whole. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the thing with this is, uh, when I first started reading it, it started out in, um, well, the main character uh, is the Robert Langdon. So he has been summoned to the um, CERN um, Technology Institute or something. And um, that's where he's flown into the Vatican City. That's where I kind of, because I've never been there, I've seen in, uh, it in movies and places. It's such a beautiful country, you know. And, um, and then uh, you could see the beautiful museums the churches and the drawings and everything and you kind of you kind of sort of um, go there yeah. and um, I love when writers are able to do that exactly like, make you be there yeah like visually definitely so this is th that that's what ma this book makes you uh, you know have <laughs> that's what this book <laughs> makes you do <laughs> makes you, <laughs> makes you, make you yeah, exactly <laughs> So you, this uh, the reason why you should read this is because, um, like I said, um, the movie doesn't do justice, and the re the thing is, um, the movie doesn't take you places, but the book mm -hmm. does. And um, and the other thing is, you could learn so much, even about the Vatican, and also, uh, you know, broaden your horizon of you know, the vocabulary and whatnot. So yeah. Weird habits readers have. What, oh. what, what's a weird habit that you have? As a reader? <laughs> um, growing up, I would always have a book with me, um, and and I would always leave it at places. I would take it to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. And <laughs> even when I'm re here. yeah, and if, when most of the times when I'm eating uh, in the kitchen, so I just read, I just prop this like that, uh, and the bottle will be there of water, <laughs> and I'll be like reading and eating at the same time. So that and sometimes halfway through. I would obviously have to end the meal, mm. and I'd leave the book either on the stove or so I'd be like this is not a good idea. I would have just like lit it on a fire <laughs> at some point. So that's something that I've always done, you know, leaving books in different places. And my mother always would just like scream and shout at me, but it was always worth it because it's like a good book. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, another weird habit. I think all readers share this is that they sniff books. This is oh, like yeah. you go to oh, a library, yes. you're just like <laughs> sniffing books, yeah. and you're suddenly just like opening up. Especially old books. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So good. yeah. Someone should just, that whole experience, they should put that in a perfume. Yeah. Then. Or maybe in a book. <laughs> you could always read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people doesn't want to read. Okay, no, um, I completely get you. Um, I, it's, it's, I think it kind of uh, is exactly like a drug addict, but you know, it's not like you don't get high on it. Okay, we kind of do get high on it, but <laughs> it's not the same. Thing. Exactly, you just don't ha harm yourself. And um, every, I used to when when um, I had this membership for the library back mm -hmm. here in Mali. I would always go there and um, I'd take like a bundle of books. We were only supposed to take two, two I think, books, borrow. Yeah. yeah. But then I, uh, the first time I went, I was uh, misunderstood and I actually took four books back home. <laughs> and did when I came you do that? Yeah, they did actually. And then when I came to return it, they were like so confused. Like, <laughs> Why did you steal our books? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next book that uh, yeah. you think everybody should read? Um, th for me, the most important book as I was growing up was um, <clears throat> Oliver Twist. Um, I don't think the the kids nowadays, and this is so vain of me to say this because <laughs> I'm not that old, okay? 
But um, it should read is Oliver Twist because, um, the, I, and I don't think they know what Oliver Twist is. Mm. Growing up, it was always, um, I, I, was, I was severely bullied in school. And somehow the book um, resonates to me yeah, in a Oliver way. Yeah, Oliver does exactly. go through quite a lot. a lot. He was shot, he was beaten and bruised, and he went through all kinds of stuff. And, that, and the best thing about uh, a book, again, uh, is that you can always end up in a good note. You know, it doesn't have to be a happy ending, but it always makes sense, and you can finally let go and be at mm. peace. It's just like dying, but not. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's something that I would uh, definitely tell people to like read. Yeah, <clears throat> plus it's such a it's one of those children's book, but not really children's. Not really books. children's book. Yeah, it's, it's just like cartoons that yeah. they have nowadays. Like, for children, but they can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then there's this um, one of my personal favorite as well, which is uh, Master of the Game. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's uh -huh. uh, it was written by Sydney Sheldon. Oh. So I as growing up, uh, my sister used to. She was a huge fan of books and um, romance novels. And um, this was one of the books that I actually read while I was shifting through the uh, dictionary uh -huh. for the big words as well. And um, <laughs> Funny enough, I also learned a lot about um, the Africa, you know. The culture. Yeah, exactly. And this book is actually, um, <clears throat> I like this, I love this book because it has a sense of victory, which is not personal, but something that you would maybe feel for a friend, you know. Mm. It's like a journey uh, and um, it goes through various um, generations, this whole book. You know, uh -huh. I love so when writers are able to do that. Exactly. Like show it, you. Yeah. It's so it's not like you're not exactly leaving us with a cliffhanger, but um, it's still like I said, it's like dying but not. <laughs> so in 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 uh, Master of the Game, it, the the thing is, um, there's this guy. He is a Scot Scottish person, mm -hmm. um, and his name is Jamie. So he travels to Africa in search of uh, uh, fortune, oh. riches. You know and somehow ends up in huge trouble and then he kind of recovers back and um, he gets rich, really rich, and then uh, there's this, I don't want to spoil this, I don't know how I'm not going to spoil this. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and then he gets a kid uh, who also dies, but he has another substitute kid. <laughs> <laughs> the roller coaster of a book. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, um, and then he dies and um, and then his daughter takes over the whole thing and she gets a son and he gets sent into a, a clinic, a mental clinic where he, he's just like, he tries to kill the mother and then he, <laughs> the guy oh, wow. gets uh, married to this girl and uh, before he goes mental, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, she gives birth to twins and she died while doing that. Mm -hmm. So, and then the twins get raised and one is evil and one is good. It's just like two sides of a coin. Oh, wow. And um, so it's 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 beautiful. It's it's like um, you get so much out of it. You know, it's not like one story. It's just like a f if you have it's written different generations. Yeah, like all in one. Exactly. Story. If you have read uh, any Blyton stories, mm -hmm. you'd know how this goes. Yes. You know, there's like a series of stories, and somehow or the other, you could always feel like one is connected to the other. So yeah. yeah. And um, <coughs> and my last book, the one I would um, want to talk about, is Lord of the Flies. Again, another classic. Yeah. See, I think when I say that I don't have a specific genre, I think you would have by now <laughs> understood it by <laughs> my list of books. Um, <coughs> Lord of the Flies. The first time I heard of it was when I was studying in Bila College. I was doing my diploma in HR. And um, my teacher, she um, made us do an assignment on it. Oh. And we actually saw the movie before we re um, I read the book. And then later on, she insisted that we read the book. So that's exactly what I did, and uh, we did the whole assignment. And the, and the best thing about the book is it's somehow the one thing that a lot of people and a lot of kids nowadays um, don't really understand is friendship. Mm -hmm. So being um, <coughs> lost in and um, in such a weird circumstance, in such weird circumstances, they somehow all come together and. Um, it's still a beautiful ending. I love you know? that it's such a coming of age story. About exactly. Friendship yeah. And you don't get to see that kind no. of like really kinship stories. Exactly. These days. Yeah. 
and and uh, somehow it's it's a timeless book. You 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 it, you can't really put it down with just okay, it was like two or you know like twenty years ago. But yeah, no, it, it, it does bring some kind of nostalgia. Exactly. Even though you have not N read it yeah, before, no. <laughs> it's one of those books. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. So exactly, it's it's about friendship and it's about hardship. And uh, if I ever get lost in an island, that probably <laughs> would be like. You I would know. definitely eat somebody for sure <laughs> if I got you know <laughs> or kill somebody. Such yeah. a weird thing to say. <laughs> but, you know, you could write a book where you kill. Oh, somebody. that yes, and then I could smell it myself. <laughs> 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 you write a book and then you smell it so yourself. <laughs> yes. weird habit you know I just remembered yeah. is that you always have multiple copies of the same book ah, yes. that might not really be a weird habit but yeah. I just like having multiple copies mm. of the same book because yeah. of the covers yeah yeah it's like but the thing for me <coughs> kind of on the same note is that um, different adaptations of the same book yes you know and um, different versions of it which kind of uh, you can go yeah. into all these al uh, alternate um, universes and then kind of experience the whole thing all over again but in a different way so that's that's all that always have been um, a really cool thing for me to do yeah and since <coughs> you have a tablet with you right now <laughs> obviously i have to ask you this question yeah. do you prefer definitely physical, <laughs> physical books definitely i just this is for sure okay i i wouldn't normally pair this around or read stuff on this and and this might be harmful for the environment but i'm just kind of saving you know you, you just the whole <coughs> aspect of you know touching exactly the and texture then and then yes you cannot uh, get that anywhere not even uh, you can't sniff an iPad <laughs> I'm just like I smell batteries <laughs> that that can't be possible uh, no yeah <coughs> but I do love having a Kindle around yeah. when you're like traveling and exactly you want to read so many books yeah but books you are can't really heavy. yeah exactly so the last time I I flew to Malaysia I I wanted to bring a, a book and then when I was packing and I I actually put three books and somehow the whole thing was like packed full and I was like okay I'll just take my tab instead so <laughs> it's yes. for the convenience this is for definitely a thumbs up but um, if you if you're talking about sitting out in you know rain and <laughs> enjoying a and then, uh, cup of yeah exactly so um, a book is definitely a physical book for the touch and smell definitely yeah <clears throat> so how about you how what kind of books do you like I also like different genres. I feel like I like contemporary books right. a lot mm. rather than series because I can't really get into no, series. No, no. And so halfway through, you, yeah, halfway through, you you wouldn't know where you left right. off. Or, exactly. Yeah. And somehow, uh, even though readers love reading, they tend to be they have the attention span of uh, what, uh, uh, an infant, yeah. and somehow they kind of drift off while reading, and then you and have then to just come back. Once to, I feel like once we grow older, we just yeah. don't have time to Def sit down yeah. and enjoy yeah. a book. So how do you find time? Uh, for books, I just have to. <laughs> it's just like people, what, social life, what, family, I don't know. So it's just like when it comes to books, I have to do something about it. Mm. So um, no, normally my house, it has a balcony mm -hmm. and then it's right in front of Taro Park. Yeah. So you, when it rains and then uh, there's it trees and imagine. everything, exactly. So and, and like it's such a beautiful sight and then you just like casually sit back on the chair and if you can make yourself, if you're not lazy enough to make <laughs> yourself a cup of uh, tea or coffee or something and just sit there. And I normally do that a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. That's how I, know I, I started uh, getting through books but somehow life got the best of me and then uh, a little bit started drifting off the you know, context of reading. So, um, since we're talking about books, yeah. I have to recommend something that oh, yeah. I enjoyed. Which Perfect. I, I don't think you've actually read this book. It's a Diva Hip book. Oh, Do you read okay, no. Books? <laughs> no. I think we have we find <laughs> my, ourselves at the crossroads. <laughs> it's it's a very old book. I think yeah. it's the second uh, Diva Hip book ever mm. written. It's called No Man Wo Mariam. I've heard of it. It's by Hussain Salahuddin. Yeah, I've I don't heard know, of him I, as well. I, of course, you've heard of him. <laughs> yeah. No, it's um, I have. 
uh, I've gone to the library a couple of times and I've, oh. I've seen it. And I think at one point while you're doing your all of us, you're supposed oh, to the book SSC. Report. Yes, yes, exactly. So uh, you're supposed to go through them, I, but I cannot recollect any of that stuff because I'm horrible <laughs> at that. So, but this go book on, tell is me. really good. Yeah. You know how old um, Divya books are about love stories. This mm. one's a love story oh. as well, but it's it's more than a love story. So it's set in. It's actually about a future. It's like a utopia where right. he, he thinks that in about 20 years, how old is this going to look like? And he saw it as a very feminist society Ooh. where women have rights and they're educated yeah. and they give like lectures about all these kinds of topics and there are um, exhibitions for... Yeah. Handicraft. I mean, some of this has already happened. Happening, yeah. It's very cool. It's I like Back to the that. Future, uh, but yeah, it's a, a lot yeah. positive. Yeah. And I love his vision for this country, and yeah. I think like everybody should read this book at yeah. least once in their life. I'm like, we should go on a strike and like bring back Hussein Salahuddin for president. <laughs> 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 but no, I can see why you love it because uh, it sends a very positive vibe, I guess. Oh, yeah. and plus the empowering of women and everything, which yeah. is uh, so. Um, I think it, it's still something that a lot of uh, more even don't completely understand. Yeah. So, and plus, true. yeah, even even the new generations, I don't think they would necessarily enjoy reading that book because I think it's a little difficult. <laughs> even like, in Divya. Yes. yes. There is. A, I mean, even <coughs> now, I mean, we're talking in English, yeah. but it's mostly we read English books. Yeah. But there are a lot of really good Divya books out there that needs to be read. I I, I have read a couple. Uh, I'll really really long back so I wouldn't remember any of those but I do um, the thing is uh, for me Divya is a little bit difficult to understand so uh, even as the language progressed there have been a lot of changes to wordings and um, the symbols and everything mm. which is probably why we are not a able to catch up yeah. on a maybe if they made it into a level. movie people oh, would yeah, understand yeah, definitely <laughs> <laughs> the color so. for the wind <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about book to movie adaptations or book to TV series adaptations? I think a series, a book to see TV series, is a lot better than movies because it yeah. somehow movies tend to like leave a lot. A of lot of the exactly. Book. So if if it's a series, um, even if you're leaving a cliffhanger, you know that you're leaving a cliffhanger. But if if you if you if it's a movie, you don't know if there's going to be a prequel or a sequel. To, exactly. To so and then so many books being made into TV series yeah. this year, like yeah. American Gods. American Gods, Gods yes. <laughs> exactly yeah. was. It's such yeah. a good um, concept. story. Yeah, yeah, the concept is really unique. Yeah, wonderful. I love it's, when books I, do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's normal, but it's not really normal. Exactly. You'd think that um, of all the books that have been printed and of all the people that have written things, you'd think that we Everything would be run out of really, ideas. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, you still find with something new and something completely amazing like out of that the would box exactly and, and something. Yeah. yeah, I've never, I haven't read the book, but I've I've watched up to five episodes of the series. But <laughs> it's it's a completely different idea, and it's um, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the whole thing. So it's it's a it's a great thing. I love the whole book to series adaptation. Yeah. Instead of the movie thing, obviously. So we've talked a lot about. Yeah. We could probably go on forever for whole, and yeah, ever exactly. <laughs> about books. I love how we just went on like from one book to another. Another book, book yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for. Thank you for having me. It was yeah. lovely yes, <laughs> catching and up again. Yes, we drinking tea and Definitely. then just talking about books. Yeah. This is very comfortable. <laughs> and the rain helps, obviously. Mm.